Welcome to Fantastic Fiber Friday. Today I'm going to show you something I had made with two yarns I put together and I thought it would be kind of fun. I put together some, whoo, yeah, it's going all over the place on me, um, some bulky curly mohair. I mean, how fun is this yarn? I had dyed it a pretty teal color and at the same time I had actually dyed some bulky angora, 100% angora long staple, very nice to work with and I thought it'd be neat to put these two yarns together in a project. You notice that the mohair actually takes the dye a little bit darker than the angora does, even though they were in the same dye pot. So it's just a little interesting take on how how different they take and I did do a swatch. So there's my little swatch and it comes out to oh about one, two, three, four stitches to an inch and one, two, three, four, five, six rows to an inch. Though, uh, since I did a cowl, it's not like um, the gauge matters too, too much. If you're a little bigger or a little smaller, it's really not going to matter because this comes out huge. And here is my blend of the two yarns. I did a Mobius. Let me show the twist there. There it is. A little twist in the bottom there. Now it wants a twist at the top. There we go. I did a Mobius, so that means I was working all the edges at the same time and start you start in the middle and work your way out. And I started with the Angora and I just alternated rows. I did a row of Angora, a row of mohair, and so on until I got it as wide as I wanted it. And the nice thing about something this long, because this actually comes down to about my waist, is that you can wear it long, almost like you were wearing a long necklace, or you can double it up. And it makes a cute little um, warmer for in the winter. And because I use Dangora and mohair, this is going to be very, very warm. And the pattern for this will be up probably next Monday. I absolutely love this color and I have both of these yarns available in my shop and I also have, there are some substitutions you could use with this. I actually looked some up because I was curious what we could substitute. And you can either do this with my yarns or with somebody else's. I do like the texture. The texture is very interesting, which is part of the reason why I wanted to do this with the two different yarns because it did make for a very interesting texture. And I hope you have a wonderful weekend and I will see you next week.